Welcome back to tutorial series. We have been learning on how to find solutions for linear second order differential equations. But why are we supposed to learn what is its real life application? Let's learn that now. We are trying to apply it to electrical circuits. Voltage drop for an inductor of inductance L is L di by dt. For resistance of resistor for resistor of resistance R is Ri and for capacitor of capacitance C is Q by C. We know that current is change in charge with respect to time. By Kirchhoff's law in LRC circuit, this is a circuit, we obtain the equation as L di by dt plus Ri plus Q by C which is equal to E where E is applied voltage. Now on substituting it with Q, the equation becomes L d square Q by dt square plus R d Q by dt plus Q by C which is E with respect to t. Let's try solving an example. An electric circuit consists of an inductor of inductance 0 0.1 Henry, a resistance of 20 ohm and a condenser of capacitance 25 microfarads. Then the charge Q and the current I is what we have to find. They have given that at time t is equal to 0, there is an initial condition. The charge is 0 0.05 coulomb and current is 0. These are the given parameters. And the differential equation for the data is L d square Q by dt square plus R d Q by dt plus Q by C which is equal to 0. When substituting D, it becomes d square plus R by L d plus 1 by L c Q which is equal to 0. Now we are substituting the given parameters and by, by trying it to convert it into auxiliary equation, we get M square 200 M plus 4 lakh which is equal to 0. The roots turn out to be minus 100 plus or minus 100 root 39i which is an imaginary root. So on uh, substituting those values the complementary function q of c is given by this and we have they have given us some initial conditions t is equal to 0, q is 0 0.05 and i is equal to 0. Now i is given by dq by dt. On differentiating this and applying all these initial conditions, we obtain that c1 is 0 0.05 and c2 is 0 0.008. Substituting all these values in this, we obtain this as a solution for the given differential equation which talks about current and which talks about charge here which can also talk about current when we differentiate the equation. Here's another sample. An inductor of 2 Henry's resistor of 16 ohm and capacitor of 0 0.02 farad are connected in series with a battery of electromotive force E is equal to 100 sin 3T. At time T is equal to 0, the charge on the capacitor and the current in the circuit are 0. Find the charge and the current. Here you have to observe that this is not a homogeneous equation. We have to find both complementary function and particular integral for this. So on applying the uh, general form, we obtain this and here you try dividing the whole thing by L and substituting D, we obtain this. We are trying to substitute the given values here and now we try to obtain the auxiliary equation which becomes m square plus 8m plus 25 which is equal to 0. The roots turn out to be minus 4 plus or minus 3i which is again an imaginary root. So we obtain the complementary function and then as usual we know the, how we can solve particular integrals. We have two methods which is variation of parameters method and undetermined coefficients method. From there we obtain this as the particular integral. We know that the sum of complementary function particular integral is the solution. So we add them up. Now current i is given by dq by dt that is differentiation of this equation. So we obtain this as the differentiation and now we have initial conditions as when t is equal to 0, q is equal to 0 and i is equal to 0. When we apply these to the above to obtain equations, we get c1 as 75 by 52 and c2 as 50 by 52. Now we substitute these values in q and i to obtain current and a charge at some time t. Here's another sample question for you to practice from this topic. All the very best. Oh,